The operator of the troubled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant has reported a new problem at the number four reactor. It says water may be leaking from the spent fuel pool inside the reactor building. No shit. More than 1,500 spent fuel rods are stored in the pool, the largest number at the site. Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, has been injecting water daily into the pool to keep the fuel rods from being exposed and further damaged. The plant's cooling system was knocked out by last month's tsunami. TEPCO has poured in 140 to 210 tons of water on each of the last few days. Despite those efforts, the company found that water levels in the pool were 10 to 40 centimeters lower than expected. The walls of the reactor building supporting the pool were severely damaged by a hydrogen explosion last month. TEPCO says the blast may have caused the leak in the pool. What the fuck? No shit. According to a plan announced earlier on containing the ongoing emergency, TEPCO will install concrete pillars to support the fuel pool and increase its earthquake resistance. That work is due to start around July. What the fuck? You the operator of the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant says it has checked the interior of the number three reactor and found no significant damage. What the fuck? You Tokyo Electric Power Company is now planning to start increasing the level of water in this reactor to cool down the fuel rods. TEPCO plans to finish filling the containment vessels of the number one and number three reactors by mid-July until the fuel rods are submerged and can be cooled down stably. The utility is currently pumping water into the number one reactor at a rate of six tons per hour. Some of that water is vaporizing, then turning back into water and accumulating inside the containment vessel. That water is now believed to be about six meters deep. In order to submerge the fuel rods, TEPCO must pump in more water until the pool is about 18 meters deep. On Tuesday, the utility sent remote-controlled robots inside the reactor building to check for damage. It says no leaks were visible. What the fuck? You From Wednesday, TEPCO plans to increase the amount of water being fed into the reactor to 14 tons per hour on an experimental basis. Workers will monitor changes in temperature and pressure to see whether the reactor container can hold the water safely, while robots will enter the building again f to check for leaks. The government's nuclear safety agency says TEPCO also needs to determine whether the reactor container can withstand strong aftershocks when it is filled with water. What the fuck? TEPCO workers are also trying to stop the spread of radioactive dust that's covering the Fukushima Daiichi compound. And to do that, they've started spraying a chemical hardening agent around the area. Here's the plan. They're going to coat the 500,000 square meter site with 1 million cubic meters of that agent by the end of June. The test spraying was done by workers using a hose and the remote control vehicle comes to the rescue. It will be used to minimize workers' radiation exposure. TEPCO says three weeks of test spraying proved the hardening agent keeps radioactive dust from being blown away. The city of Koryama in Fukushima Prefecture is going to start removing topsoil from school grounds. Outdoor activities at schools in the city have been limited since the Japanese government announced its radiation safety limit last week. Koryama City is about 50 kilometers west of the troubled Fukushima plant. Crews will start taking away one to two centimeters of topsoil from schoolyards this weekend to deal with any possible radiation contamination. The work will happen at 15 elementary and junior high schools and 13 nursery schools. The city plans to allow these institutions to start using their grounds again for up to one hour a day after it confirms radiation levels are safe. Officials from the Miyagi Prefectural Government have conducted safety checks at the Onagawa nuclear power plant. The plant was shut down automatically following the March 11th earthquake and tsunami. It's located about 120 kilometers north of the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. A group of about 15 officials, including Miyagi Governor Yoshihiro Murai, visited the plant on Tuesday. All three reactors there remain shut down. One of two power cables linked to the cooling system generator at the number two reactor has been rendered useless due to flooding. 
Murai inspected the damage and asked utility officials about the plant's safety measures. The governor then offered encouragement to evacuees who have been taking shelter in the plant after their homes were washed away by the tsunami last month. What the fuck? You <laughs> Before restarting the plant, we need to first check if it clears the new safety standards. No shit. That will be set up by the state government.